I'm more excited by the fact that this is worth a quarter of a million pounds than by the fact that it's a thermocouple. This is, I think, the first sample of metallic rhodium that I've ever held in my hands. And it's not very thick, it's just a tiny piece of foil. But I'm here at the Johnson Mathy Noble Metals processing plant where they turn the sponge that comes from mines, the rhodium sponge, into rhodium metal. But rhodium metal is rarely used by itself. It's usually used as an alloy. And this is one of the few applications of rhodium metal where it is used as a very, very thin foil for filtering x-rays for cancer diagnosis, particularly breast cancer. This is some sort of wheel that goes round in front of the X-ray source. And one of the paddles has rhodium on it. Rhodium is almost the rarest of the metals. The world production of rhodium each year is about 20 tonnes. And most of that rhodium goes into the automotive catalysts, the catalysts that you have on cars and other vehicles. And it catalyzes a really rather boring reaction, but a very important one, which is nitrogen oxides, NOx, going to nitrogen and oxygen. And without rhodium catalysts, the air quality in our cities would be much, much worse because of the car exhausts. But rhodium is used in all sorts of alloys where rhodium mixed with platinum gives so much better chemical performance. Here, for example, this is thermocouple wire, which is platinum with 13% rhodium in it, where the addition of rhodium makes it perform much better as a thermocouple. And you can see it really doesn't look very different from platinum itself, though apparently the people who work here become really tuned to the different metals and they can see subtle differences. Here is thermocouple with 30% rhodium in it and it's all wrapped up from shipping so you can't actually see inside. Looks like fishing line but I'm assured that there's 30% rhodium in here so we'll have to trust them. I've now got 6% rhodium in platinum though I must say I'm more excited by the fact that this is worth a quarter of a million pounds than by the fact that it's a thermocouple. But you can see, if we focus on the science, that this is a thermocouple wire for measuring temperature, weighs over eight kilos. So that's really quite a serious weight. So this is 94% platinum and 6% rhodium. It's very heavy. <laughs> I'm going to put it down, particularly because I'm not wearing reinforced shoes. So another application for rhodium platinum is in heart pacemakers. I've never seen a pacemaker before. It's not very heavy, but it's still quite big to go inside one's chest. So a heart pacemaker produces an electrical signal that helps people's hearts beat in a regular way. Those people who need them, if they didn't have them, their heart would tend to flutter and wouldn't pump in a nice regular way. So here, the rhodium is in these very fine wires that are inside this plastic coating. And these fine wires are the key to the whole machine. They take the electrical signals to where they needed to make your heart work. This part here is just batteries and electronics, but it doesn't actually do anything for you. It's the electrical signals that come out of the end that are the key part. The reason it's called rhodium is because it comes from the Greek word meaning red or pink because when it was first discovered, William Hyde Wollaston noticed that the colour of the salts were rather striking reddish colour. In fact, he discovered palladium, and rhodium was an impurity which he only discovered when he'd already started selling palladium as a product. But he was the first person to isolate it and to give it its name. Rhodium itself looks, I think, like the other platinum metals, a silverish colour, Iridium is sometimes slightly yellow, and osmium is a rather nice bluish colour. It's the only blue metal I think there is. 